we've gotten uh, quite a lot of support in terms of infrastructure. We've got an irrigation system which we are using to multiply the seed and do off-season trials. We've had quite a number of uh, our colleagues and students trained. S and then we are getting a lot of training materials, especially even for our use in, uh, in, in lectures and teaching in the university. So especially postgraduate students, we are benefiting from that. As a national program, uh, we understand that a better capacity now can make tomorrow's or the uh, generation to come to perform better. Uh, with that, uh, we have got now the cold room where we have our germ plasmas really uh, maintained uh, in uh, efficiently in, in a secured uh, way. We have got uh, lat house or this uh, mesh house where we are making some crossing and off-season activities. It's very well done. And uh, we have got some other machines or so. We have got a vehicle as well. But with this all, uh, I would say uh, this, this infrastructure installation and greenhouse hopefully will come. These structures uh, last long. Breeders have been developing or breeding the varieties by using the conventional method. So when we started this project few years back, maybe five, six years back, at that time point, several of our breeders and especially from developing countries they were not uh, they were not uh, um, uh, trained or they were not very uh, ready to use those genomics tools so to and with when we gave the examples of different crops and then they realized that well genomics is having the implication on the breeding so what we did that we have been working with those breeders and uh, we have been training them to use in this modern genomic student breeding program and so not only the breeders but more Im most important part is that when we are doing the molecular breeding experiments these experiments are d being done by young generation by phd students and master's degree student so basically we are developing the next generation of breeders and so this is very important for the capacity building so basically if we can train this new generation then we can ensure the sustainability of the molecular breeding programs in the developing countries. It's good to notice that already the national program has made a lot of work through those 30, 40 years in its uh, stay. Uh, already varieties have been developed that suit to the agroecologists in question. Uh, agronomic or crop management packages have been uh, uh, released or packed and uh, um, disseminated. So. Uh, by now, uh, we have some really very important impacts out of those uh, long-term activities, the way we see. And when TL1 and TL2 come into being, it rather uh, enhances uh, the activities we have been in. And it strengthens, it uh, uh, makes effect very uh, rigorous and really uh, meaningful in a short time period possible. Uh, this comes out of the capacity that we, we gained through these projects, out of the um, uh, learning environment in different fora, by from different sci I mean from different scientists uh, uh, being uh, even uh, globally, and uh, we also have learned a lot of uh, uh, practices that we can sort out for the best. Uh, uh, activities to be uh, scaled up.